sir can you screen my screen yes sir yes i can see your screen sir in this one i uh, how to get these details sir i am not getting perfectly like this uh feel kind of thing okay so what you are doing sir show me that so i'll explain that Sir, I have another doubt also, sir. How to mm -hmm. give this a uh, cloth detail like alpha in substance? We need to use. Yes. How to give? No, you can do. It. You can paint it directly into substance. It's totally possible. So, and then this uh, wood kind of details like I need to make high poly or in substance itself I can make. In it in substance itself you can do it. Like wooden, wooden textures, metal textures, everything you can do it in substance uh, very easily. Like uh, for especially leather, metal, plastic, <coughs> all the wood, you can create all this uh, surface very easily and am with amazing quality in substance. Substance works for them beautifully. Sir, and then can you show me in this wood? No, sir. It it has multiple mm -hmm. colors like textures. Like white, hmm. and then brown. I'm not getting that naturally. If I even though if I get, I'm not getting it naturally. It's not yes, the for, yes. For, for that, what you have to do is you have to use the texture, like a basic uh, material. We can create basic flat colors, na. Or either you you have to use multiple uh, layers of multiple colors with multiple uh, masks to add to uh, have all those color variation, total variation. Or you have to use a texture, actual physical texture. So that's why I ask like use the quicksell bridge, quicksell, uh, quicksell. Sir, I have just can... uh, searched that quicksell bridge, but I'm not getting like this. Like it was not there. Quicksell bridge, you're not getting wooden texture. That's what I uh, like. No, sir, uh, this wooden. kind of thing, I I can't adjust. No, sir, if I get. No, you have to use it with substance. Yeah, that's you what can... I am using in substance only. Sir. I just copy so, that base albedo in that base material. Okay, base. Uh, you have to copy base, roughness, and normal. All three. Yeah, in base, I just copied everything. Everything. Then, uh, then you have to apply rest of the layers and detail on the top of that. So okay, you have this box model. Sir, just mail me. I'll show yeah. you. Ah, uh, Aras, can you? Ah, uh, I you just take a plane and then you just show me how to do this one. Just a plane, then I will understand. Okay, just give me. And then this uh, one. Also. Just take a plane and then just teach me a basic. Then I will understand. Okay, just give me. A I second. will mail this uh, images. Sir. Just yeah, okay. Just mail this image. That is also fine. Just give me a second. I'm opening my uh, like I'm just opening uh, Maya as of now, so that I can see this really quickly. Or I guess I have some structure, right? Okay, let's. See. Uh, for this motor thing, I have I, I already have a model. That I don't have my. I just have to use the screen. You can stop sharing the screen. Yes, sir. Substance. Substance. I guess I have couple of models ready, like from our uh, actual team. So I will send it you that. Okay, let's do it. Okay, 
So I'll open uh, first. I'll open a metal part. One two. Okay. This, uh, this, is, uh, this is for the metal. Uh, that uh, rest kind of thing. Can you open it? Yes, 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 yes. I'll show you the rest, rest kind of thing. It's quite easy. It's quite simple. Uh, I have just tried its game, but uh, it's not natural. So. Ha! It will be natural. No one is worried. So, like something like this, you want to create? Yeah, this, this <laughs> kind of with, kind of with all. Color, color variation, right? Yeah, All this yes, color sir. variation, just yeah, yes, that's normal variation. So yeah. it's it's quite easy. Create a first first thing first. You know, you have to bake, bake. right? Yeah. That's quite that's quite obvious. Bake. So I'll just use it in two k. Bake it, sir. Oh, sorry, one mistake again. Ignore back. No, no, in the in updated version, it's by default ignore back because color is on. By in an uh, updated version, so okay. low poly. Because I don't have a high poly for this. Use low poly as high poly okay, and so. baking. If I have a high poly, I yeah, I know that. Hmm. Okay. So it's baked. It's clean, right? So now I want the rust kind of texture. The rusty like <coughs> this yeah. kind of with all the tonal yeah. variation, all this thing. So this yeah. is something we can do it very easily. So go to Pixel Branch. I have just downloaded that also, but whole thing is just coming like this. The uh, only rusted kind. I have just masked that also. Wait, I'll show you. For this, I guess I have I have in local I have couple of surface downloads already. Some rusty kind of thing. Like this, you have rust, right? Or maybe the, the, yeah, or, just like this kind of. Thing. So you can see we have lots of this is what I have already downloaded. Okay. So I can use it. Go to file. So this is my file. So I'll just copy the path. No, no need to copy the path. I'll select the texture albedo. I'll select the albedo texture. Then I'll select my normal and select my roughness. All three import into. Texture into texture and current section import done. Go to layer, create a fill layer. For this, I don't want metal uh, height. I want only color, normal roughness. Color into color, normal into normal. And roughness and roughness. You see, like uh, everything came here, but you want uh, you don't want it to be like that. This you want to modify it, right? According to your requirement. Like so, that paint is there. That ha that paint one thing, and with that glossy uh, effect. Yeah. So, so what I I will do for this? I right now you can see if I press uh, right now roughness is really matte. So I'll create first. I'll try to match the roughness. I'll create a black empty layer only with the roughness. Add slightly roughness. And if I go to R, it is C. Sorry, uh, not R. C C C. Uh, uh, roughness map. It's flat gray. I just added a uh, roughness here, right? Yeah. I just add, this layer have only roughness. I just made it gray, so it's by default the entire roughness become gray. But I don't want that. I want to blend it with my base. So I just simply blend it with my base. I just change the rough in roughness. I change it to overlay, so my roughness become little darker. So if I say click on M, now you can see I have little shininess. If yeah. I want to modify, increase it a little bit further, I can do that as well. See, it become little glossy overall. Yes. Or I can do this, or uh, suppose uh, what I can see here: the entire surface is glossy, not hundred percent matte. This texture, this rough, rough look, fully matte here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So 
there are two ways to do it so i can just simply duplicate this layer and change the overlay to normal which affects the entire layer and under roughness reduce the opacity so it affects my entire surface including this and this both so i have two different layers of roughness so you have to think according accordingly what you uh, try uh, uh, like focus on one thing at a time not everything like uh, right now i'm just fixing my roughness so i want to match the roughness so i feel <coughs> the roughness is if i have like suppose i have like okay my roughness look really bad here so i what i can do i can delete this roughness from here and delete this as well and change to normal or fast to and overall same roughness right there is no difference nothing now if i want to modify the roughness what i'll do i'll create one more layer all click on roughness only roughness is active and apply this roughness here this roughness will make my this entire thing uh, matte so either i can do it like this or i can just simply right click add uh, the thing mm. add a black mask right click add fill so i am basically adding a fill into mask and this is a gray scale value so i can apply a gray scale map here so right now everything is applied to my mask not my layer okay right so i can control the layer with this color and plus i have controller for this thing so this is my filter and i want to more blend it with my base so if i uh, see i'll just show you uh, if i go to roughness you can see my roughness based on yeah. this and this combination of both of them i can make it light i can make it dark okay i can modify that so let it let it be little bit darker darker side so that i can modify it but right now it's way too dark i don't want it to be that dark so right click add a level and reduce the darkness because i don't want it to be that dark m so now you can see roughness is slightly reduced then uh, this roughness is uh, applied everywhere throughout same it's not following any curve any dirt or anything so what i have to do for this roughness i need to add a generator here and i can use dirt i can use metal as well so i'll use a dirt dirt all click on this mask you can see the mask it basically generated this thing and i want to combine this with my fill so what i'll do overlay or i can do where is a screen so you can see my base and my this texture plus this dirt is combined if yeah. i go back in you can see it's affecting all the region let's see if it multiply multiply work better so if i want i, I have the entire control of this dirt you see i can modify contrast also i can modify dry plan and if i want i can apply so now i have this base texture and plus i have this uh, like uh, roughness base uh, roughness <clears throat> now i want to add those red color you have this, this into red color yeah. plus this dirt right so i'll create a blank layer with everything is on so i'll keep it here i'll like somewhere here and click on this color picker left mouse button and without releasing your left mouse button sorry without releasing your left mouse button sorry go and fix that red color make it slightly dark added the color normal height switch of everything roughness will make it slightly matte overall you are reducing the roughness so i can bring it down here also so as you can see this is creating roughness and this is only for the color 
So, but I don't want this color to affect the entire region, right? That's what my plan. I want only the colors in some places and the, this texture detail in some places, right? That's what yeah. I want. Then click black mask. And under this black mask, what I can do, I add a generator, and you can see I have dripping. I have uh, there's so many filters are there or if you go to smart mask there are so many presets are there oh, sorry smart mask so many presets are there so i can use any of these uh, presets drag and drop so now you can see some areas are red and some areas are your brown okay yeah in combination of both the things and for metal like because uh, if you uh, because this is a metal part and it's right now not looking like metal so what what we can do we can add a metal as well here to make it look like metal so what i'll do is switch on metal and uh let's see, sorry um, right click add fill switch off everything except metal you can see this layer in this layer i added a fill and this metal i'll go texture and where is my roughness map roughness map i can apply this so it will convert my roughness into metal so all the black part do they become non metal all the non white part become metallic but it's way too intense right so yeah. what i can do go to metallic and reduce the fill intensity so it should not be that metallic now i have this you see this metallic uh, shine plus this red color plus this brown oh, yeah. and okay this is like basic basic uh, texture i have just like added now i need to add dirt and other stuff as well so I'll add go and create new layer uh metal i can make it non 100% non metal roughness i can make it a little bit matte and for rough for rough and grunge and all those things i have picked this color it is a dark color fill this roughness i'll make it bit non shiny then right click add a generator oh sorry my bad uh, i black mask add a generator everything try to add with a mask so you have better uh, control over it this thing you can see instantly added this dirt then if i click on this it basically generates this dirt randomly but if i want those patchy effect what i can do right click add a fill fill is flat so this roughness i can add here so i'm using this roughness as a mask you can you multi no, multiply doesn't work with this screen and uh, intensity i can reduce it doesn't look very nice uh, overlay uh, so i got it to see the uh, com combination of this fill and combination of this dirt together you can add those things then press m and check your the things so now you can see i have if i switch it off the dirt effect ever plus yes the dirt is there plus your metal in it is there plus your uh, like a normal detail is there and your roughness of base and top of this i can keep building my stuff <coughs> suppose i want to add some like in this uh, particular thing i can see this uneven surface throughout right so for that i can go back to my surface and i'll try to find a metal oh, where is my metal metal and sheet some unevenness i think this one i have downloaded already or this one only i am using yeah this is only you this one only i am using right so uh, some unevenness throughout the surface so okay download this one Sir, and mm. that I need to ask that one. Can you show that mm. substance file before download? Okay, it's down. It's downloaded. Yes, go to file folder. 
Tell me. Sir, uh, so, uh, yeah, sir, these things that, uh, what is it, this, uh, damage kind of things are there, no, sir. If I need uh -huh. it, it's very thick. How can we, how can I reduce? Okay, that you want normal. to reduce this thing? Yeah, okay, normal. normal. It's very much high. If I want to yes. reduce that one. Reduce, yes, there's a, there's a process. So it's part of, so it, it's part of this first layer, right? Yeah. Select that layer, go to normal, and under normal, reduce the intensity. Mm -hmm. Sir. See? Yeah, now it's gone. Okay, sir. That fill it's layer is to me. That no, fill, not, not fill layer. Fill layer is metallic. Fill layer okay. is metallic. So, fill layer will reduce the metallicness. And you, uh, this thing, this is part of only, I'm, right now I'm controlling only normal, nothing else. Okay, sir. So you, you have to switch between this thing, base color, what you want to control. <clears throat> like this, you can control, and you can see I have a little bit of brown, little bit of red, and still, suppose I'm not very happy with this. So what I'll do, I'll add roughness and metal, downloading. One more texture, and I have this fill, empty fill, normal into normal, and this decrease uh, into base. You can see I got the those bright colors. Metal I can switch off, height I can switch off, roughness if I want I can switch off. That's totally up to me. And I had I got this all this uh, uneven uh, dirt and this projection I can use tri planner. So all this steam and everything will go in one click, tri planner. Whenever you applying a texture, make sure you use tri planner. So otherwise there will be a steam. So now it's basically you can see it's removing my base texture completely. But I won't I won't don't want that. I want this uh, this uh, thing should be visible in some of few of the areas only. So I'll create this and then right click add a generator. Then I have, uh, you can see, there is a, uh, lo I have lots of, uh, this, uh, what do you call, it? generators and all. So I can use the curvature or I can use the mask editor. Uh, uh, I can create all those things or I can use a, you know, some preset mask mask. Where I can, uh, you can see, rough, randomized sections, this mask, random, random. So, so, uh, click on this surface, drag, drop, so this generator so now you can see with the help of this it's randomly generated so i can just simply drag down move it down so make it just to make it randomized and part of that dirt as well so if i'm not happy with this generator i can modify this, uh, this editor as well yeah I so know like Right, you can modify this yeah, thing very easily. Yeah, contrast and all these things. So, so now I have two different textures combined within Substance with my dirt map and all these things. But still, I have I'm missing those scratches. So what I'll do? I'll create one more layer, and this will have color. If I want, I can use. If I don't want, I can I cannot. Do, I don't uh, use it, or I can keep height. So I'll go height. I'll give little bit minus intensity roughness i'll make it bit shiny and metal is i make it full metal and base color i keep it some bit towards dark grayish color right click add a black mask then right click add a generator and add a metal edge wire so it will generate you can see those scratches yeah. And those those are quite shiny. Yes, sir. Quite, quite shiny. So if you want, you can always go back modify see normal. You can modify it. Okay, sir. Now I got Right. Like this sir. you have to combine. Now I have everything. a doubt, sir. I need to increase if I want that red uh, more than this one. If I want red, I need to increase. Okay. If you want to increase the base red color, right? That's yeah. what you meant? Yes, sir. So you have to edit this mask. Alt click on this mask. You can see right now this mask looks like this. And you want more of this red. 
right yes so sir. what else this editor i can go balance i can increase okay so redness red increase similarly if you want to like change something this brownness you want to reduce <coughs> edit this mask so everything in a separate layer so every each and every layer either they can have one set of texture or they can have one set of only one individual color they cannot have multiple colors in one layer okay. right so you can have only one color so you can use texture plus uh, your basic uh, all generators like this you can generate and now if you want to uh, like roughness i should see this roughness is really matte if i want uh, this is dirt so okay this one roughness dot this dot if i want to reduce i can reduce level if i want to change the level i can change that as well you can make it really shiny okay so to change everything then dot i can go reduce the amount of dot increase the amount of dot yeah i know these so, ha huh, so all these things you have to combine basically you have to combine everything together the so one layer like uh, like uh, think it like that each layer you controlling either uh, diffuse or your roughness or your normal if you keep everything separate it will become very easy for you to control so you can <clears throat> name those layer as well as this is roughness this is normal this is roughness 2 this is normal 2 this is diffuse 2 this is base texture this is my uh, grunge like that if you name it it will become very easy for you to control Sir, right? Can you show yes. that wood? It has so much yes. uh, detailed one. Ah, so much exact same process. So I'll delete. I'll create. You just take a plane, at least a plane, and just can I? Like on on this, all only I can show you wood. Yeah, yeah, this is fine, sir. Ah, so uh, wood. Uh, uh, if you go to a smart material, you already have lots of wooden smart material. Sir, I have sent you one reference that to me. Ah uh ha, -huh. yes, I've... that's. A, uh... Can you open that one? I will show you. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. This one only, right? This down one, sir. That a uh, plank kind of things. Planks. Ha, uh, plank. Uh, multiple colors. The yeah. exact same process. Exact same process. What I just did. Or you can just simply use some pre-made smart materials. either you can use something like this or let suppose i want to uh, start creating something from scratch so what i'll do surface and i'll go to wood i have log other plank i have all the op options so let's click on plank see i have lots of textures and the kind of thing you're looking for is something like this lo with lots of detail and scratches dirt and color tonal variation yes <coughs> download and this one also I'll download this as well so that i have like multiple uh, options or uh, like we can use pixel mixer for this also okay and use let's see this one i click open file yeah, i have the file the folder is open texture then i have normal and roughness Drag drop here. Picture, current section, and so. So I have this. The so first blank layer. No metal, no height. Base color, normal, roughness. So got all this blank detail, right? Yes, sir. all this plank detail but you want to uh, create uh, it should be uh, for that particular model like in, in yes, unique sir. to that particular model right that's what you want so uh, what i can do is 
now i have this and like, suppose i want to rotate anything or do something i can do that as well rotation 90 it's rotated so this gives me a better result this look better right so like if i don't uh, want this line line okay if you don't want this line so what you have to do is you have to uh, pick a texture without the line or you have to uh, manually modify the texture How without the line so modify just you let, let me check uh wood so you see i have lots of wooden material they are all varnished nicely wooden texture so what i can do is i pick any of this uh, like color without the line okay, down there or or you can just simply open this into photoshop then like in doing the same thing there multiple ways so you can just simply open the texture into photoshop and stamp those lines and then use it it's all clean clear and simple straight forward uh, that is something you can do of course i want to do that so if my photoshop so oh. so open stamp if i want uh, i can use stamp heel the uh, like any we you started in digital printing as stamp filling thing the same process you can follow here remove you can just simply remove all those so you can see you have you still will have the color variation So do it in small, small parts, and then you can use this texture without the line. Okay, But there's so one, ha, or there's a one more way is there. You can do Sir, it within Photoshop. Yes. After editing in Photoshop, we need to save it as Targa file. Targa, JPEG, PNG, any format. Anything is okay. Ha, it uh, reads uh, like it reads uh, to your PSG. Subscribe to read the PSG, TDA, JPEG, PNG, all those format. so uh, okay then after like suppose you want to fix it within substance so the, uh, previously we were using fill layer this time we'll use a paint layer paint layer and i suppose i want to remove this line in substance you can see i use the uh, to this paint layer and there is the option called stamp if you click on the stamp control click control click on any, any of the surface so so same um and so there is the option and to switch it on sample all layers and um, absolute source okay. well it's not seen thing is it complete no Why is it so difficult? We need to press control. Hmm? We need to press control and paint. The control uh, uh, and we have to control so you can rotate this thing. You can select control and select the region from where you want to paint. But it's not painting. It should paint. Hmm. Add. Need to add black mask or something. 
No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a pen, it's a paint layer. It's not a fill layer. Paint layer, you can paint directly on the surface. Um, why it's not working? Parameter hardness. All these things are fine. Not painting, it should loan. No, it's not loaning. Sir, this one I will do in Photoshop and then I will fix No, it. no, there's the option you can paint directly. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, stamp, it basically stamp. Um, not working. Alt also to click, nothing happens. It should uh, paint it directly. I added a paint layer, why it's not working? Um, any option I'm missing? This is hard. Okay, let's keep only color. Hmm, why is that painting? What I'm missing? Okay, if I just fix this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so since something I'm missing, I'm not sure okay. what I'm missing here. Okay, let's see. 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 This is painting directly, but I do. I want to stamp it. It should work. Uh, uh, stamping is not working it's very soon. Uh, usually, it works perfectly. Uh, there's something. I guess there's some option I'm missing because of that. It's not painting it. Uh, like uh, directly, I, I'll just cross check it. Like why it's not working. Like, please, you click to that, and this is just like okay. so you want to. Uh, pick and if you want to fill that section, then remove the, those areas. Those. Sir, that I will fix. Yeah. Sir, can you show me that color variation of that wood? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like that image. Uh, so, if you want to add color, color variation, exact same process. You have one base with this thing. Then you can add uh, one more layer, uh, and if you want to add some color, so what I'll do, I'll just combine it with some of my uh, like you see, all these wooden parts are already existing in your substance okay. by default. These are smart materials, so I can just pick and drag drop any one of them. Let's create all these things. See, no, okay. Oh, sorry, my bad. 
can see these lines coming from this section pattern. I can select this and hold okay, zero, change the pattern. And this entire thing is because lots of uh, tonal variations are there. Right click, add a black mask, uh, under mask, go to go and add some, so you have ground dirt or you can just simply add a generator, generator, select and if I want I can add a um, dirt or I can add a curvature, invert it. Balance, I can increase, decrease. It doesn't look very nice. I click, computer, and I can add a mask editor. So, Add all those things, or you can just simply drag up any of this. Lots of uh, like inbuilt uh, smart masks are there. Like dripping can be. Right? Like dripping can be there. So you can just basically simply combine two textures here. Sir, and, and then like, uh, just if I add that mask, uh, if I don't mm -hmm. want this place, I want only like this place. Can I adjust like that? Which one? Which one? Sir, if I add that this mask, no, sir. After um, adding this mask, this detail came with food uh, kind of food. If I uh, if I don't want uh, this place, can I paint like that? If you don't want uh, what color or uh, yeah, some this, other uh, color? This mask. If I don't want in this mask in this place. Okay, if you don't want this thing in this place, you can just ad adjust the dripping. It's a mask, right? You have entire control over it. Okay, sir. So it's like you can modify things. You can see you have those patches and all click on this. You can see it's like this. And based on this, it's generating everything. Can so I have add a if I don't, if I just want to reduce like that? If you, yes, everything is in, it's in a folder, right? This is a folder. Uh, you can see everything in a separate layer. If you want to modify anything, you can modify it. You see, if you don't want just fiber, or if you want to uh, change the fiber direction, 19, you see, I can change it. I can scale it. Sir? Everything is possible. Huh? Yes. Can you open my reference one time? That would. Yes. An another image I just sent another image. No, sir. This, one. Ah, this one, this detail, how can I get this uh, scratch, scratch, this fiber kind of thing? This kind like of, uh -huh. Uh -huh. if you need to add this, you can create it very easily. So if you can do it on any surface, suppose you have the sector, base you have created. Add a new fill layer, switch off everything except height. height. Give the height minus because uh, those okay. details are going inside, right? Then right click, you can add a black mask, right click, add a fill. Under gray scale, you can see I have all those options. Fiber. You can modify things, contrast, you can increase, or if you don't like this particular gray scale, you can, if you want to use something else, you can use that. You can see we have all those fibers and all those effects. And this uh, like contrast, like if I want, I can increase, decrease, feel, I can increase, decrease. Sir, now I got it. If I, uh, if I want Sir, to, I, like, yes. And then how to make that cloth alpha in substance itself? You said, uh, yes, you can we have, keep it in uh, substance. There are two ways. Like, uh, there are two Substance, definitely you can do it. There are two ways. Either you can just simply. Uh, input alpha map. Yes, you have to add a opacity. Like suppose this is my uh, this thing. I just delete and smart material. I guess I have a cloth fabric. I have a fabric material. Drag and drop. It will generate everything automatically. Okay. Uh -huh. 
so you can see it have nice it nice to generated all the details on my surface with folds and everything suppose i want alpha here it's torn it's torn so i want alpha so first thing you have to go to your uh, the thing uh, material shaded setting is pvr metal roughness you have to change it to pvr metal with alpha blending there are two are there one is with only alpha test it's basically hard alpha no blending the so one is alpha blending with one one is if you want it really clean cut out then use this one if you want it to blend it so use this one any one of them depending upon what kind of blend because see the preview this one is hard black and white this one have uh, <coughs> gray scale value the so smoothly blend so uh, usually if it's torn it should be hard uh, like hard cut out like uh, all the threads then you have this section and go to you can see uh, here you don't have a opacity add mask opacity. Add, okay. yes add a opacity and add a new layer and switch alt click on opacity only and only opacity is on and make it 100% see 100% black right click add a black mask right click if you want you can uh, add a paint layer and then go to brush let's see we have some fiber kind of thing yes you can see we have fibers yeah click on any one of them you can increase the brush size you can rotate the direction change the size and right now if i start painting You can paint this thing. Yeah, okay, I got. You can paint Sorry. manually or. Sh uh -huh, shortcut yeah. for rotating the brush. Uh, control, control, control. Uh, left mouse button. Control, left mouse button. And then draw. Increasing, decreasing, just. In increasing, decreasing. Right, right click. Control, okay, right sir. click. And if you uh, move it up and down, it will reduce the opacity also. Right click. Up and down is opacity, and diagonally is increase size and decrease size. Okay. And uh, this is something you can uh, like this paint you can use with uh, like multiple effects also. Like right click, add a um, let's see. I want to add a, a generator. Suppose I want to reduce it from the base, right from this side. so i can use the smart mask i have you can see i have some dripping or i can use a particle flow <coughs> where i have all this leaf oh i forgot to add a paint paint see okay i can generate i can generate it like this also uh just give me a second hello yes sir acha uh, so uh, like this you can uh, add all these detail so hmm. uh, one sec my headphone got switched off actually give me a second connect to another headphone hello can you hear me yes yeah, sir okay yes like like this you can generate and you will manually paint when combine paint you can combine your <coughs> this uh, all this smart mask smart material everything to generate this so it works perfectly you can see it's clean if you want to check you can just click left click and click on this this is your mask so you can change things use multiple uh, layers of paint 
multiple layers of mask and combine them together like same like photoshop you have multiple layers and combine and generate no, no, effect right it, yeah yeah, yeah. See, so can you hmm. open my reference one and then i have one now Mm-hmm. Sir, can you go to that uh, wooden part, that wooden planks? Yeah. Sir, in this one, there is one uh, text. No, sir, text. This kind text. of text. Uh-huh. I just uh, how to make uh, it. It's make a cl- color, and then if I want to make with blend with that wood, how can I make that one? Can I make? Uh-huh. Yes. you can definitely do it either like there are two ways either you do it directly on your texture or you can do it in unreal with decal maps there are two different ways decal map i showed you yesterday i use okay. alpha and place it there directly it project on your model if i want to make it in substance ha yes I... if you want to make it in substance so there is another process for that uh, let's see i'll just do it just take yes. any uh, like this is and this is what i have now i want to apply that uh, some text or something right yes. so what i can do there are multiple ways to do it either i can take pick a uh, like let's see this red color and apply a black mask full black then apply it add paint then go to my alphas i have so many alphas here right so i can use any of the alpha directly like let's see we have some text also Okay, let's see. We have some text here. So suppose I want to use any of the text. Click on that text. Oh, it's oh, with particles. Sorry, my fault. Undo. Brush. And intensity size is fine. Low. Full. Opacity is fine. Increase the space. No jitter, nothing. Why? But why it's not painting directly on this? Okay, if I want to play uh, paint the alpha, it's correct directly here. Which is a specific paint. What? It's not painting. No tiling. Base skin full white. UV. One way we can use camera. jitter and fine this fine ah i just switched to follow path and now i can click and i can go back change the color to like suppose some green yellow whatever color i want and but you want to blend it with the base right that's what you want Okay, I'll just make it white big so that you can see it clearly. So, by default, in this layer, uh, all these things are on. So this is only diffused, but you want to blend it with the base and add all these kind of detail on this as yeah. well, right? So yeah. for that, what you can do is. i need to have this pattern on my surface so let's see where is this pattern this one is the pattern so what i'll do i'll simply 
duplicate this layer and push it up so this is affecting the entire region but i don't want i want it to affect only this section so what i'll do is uh, for this i'll uh, select this right click copy this paint uh, okay copy mask this option is there so um, i have to apply this same mask here i'll copy this mask select these two control g group it these two are grouped now and create a black mask right click you have paste into mask so now this thing is visible only and only this section right that's clear hmm? yeah now for this i need to blend this thing with this i want this thing this uh, it should be torn or uh, uneven so how to do that here like again we simply modify this layer yes your voice is very low i can't hear you okay that's uh like uh, for this uh, if you uh, the two ways either you can just simply for this on this uh, particular uh, surface you can add a uh, one more like a generator and add it dirt so it basically you can see okay combine with this if i want to change the this thing overlay or maybe normal i can build blend it then i can increase the contrast reduce this thing i can modify this or if i want right click add a paint go to brush select any of the brush manually press x and modify this also like i can i can use generator also i can use paint also so any one of them like this we can create and modify everything so it will start looking like part of this thing and this gender this thing by reduce you can see okay. it gives you uneven surface retain in plus that uh, normal information is already there so if i want i can mm. just simply uh, copy this layer p uh, paint and paste it here and so it will align like you can see mm, right click no that won't be possible um, okay that is not possible we copy we cannot copy it but i can just simply add another paint and like just simply delete some of the area make it a bit uneven and nice so like this we can create and make it part of this it looks like that uh, texture only part of that thing so like this we can create and it's uh, like it's, it it just like you have to use all those layers and generators and paint everything combined so the more the uh, like efficiently you combine those things it works nicely and it, it gives you better result okay that's the thing okay that's how we do it and it's yeah so okay so now uh, like okay the time almost over so i have just take the attendance quickly yes okay yes that folder you created for this week last week yes. i think yeah. uh last week uh, like i totally forgot to create that but this week i have created I have and uh, yeah it's there so it's there so now you can just submit there only i'll take the attendance quickly okay present is present the lip the lip is always present but never subjects and uh, then then okay i'll see you guys uh, tomorrow same time so i'll explain those uh, complex materials and all okay sir i'll see you the model you have done is low poly or high poly sir low poly
low poly. But if I am doing the low poly in substance, the lines are showing at the corner. So no, you have to apply a smoothing group one, your low poly model. So no, separate, separate smoothing groups are given for every one. Uh, like separate separate smoothing group you have given then uh, you uh, after baking is showing you uh, this thing uh, face uh, and like angles uh, uh, yes that we have we'll connect the edges to the corner now so vertex hmm. the lines are uh, showing in the substance so okay, uh, uh, can you show like uh, tomorrow you can show me today i have another class now so okay. tomorrow you can show me that i'll explain that if whatever the issue will fix it no problem okay uh, okay